And so I just want to tell you a little bit about the miracle at Dunkirk of what really happened May 1940, the bits of the story that don't always get told. In 1940, May, 300,000 British soldiers were sent across the Channel to support the French army when um, Denmark and Holland and Belgium and Luxembourg and many other countries had kind of collapsed under the pressure of Nazi Germany and um, Britain and France stood together strong against the, the Nazi army as they advanced, or so they thought. What was what was shock is the way that the front line for the for the Allies just got completely overrun, as uh, mistakes were made by the British generals and the French generals, and um, the kind of Nazi war machine just um, charged and, and overcome. And, and before long, they had uh, three hundred thousand soldiers of the Allies, more than 300,000, 375,000, which was just kind of surrounded and overran. And, and they started to retreat and they headed, headed back to the beaches at Dunkirk and completely surrounded. Winston Churchill was told that probably maybe 20,000 men is as many as he could expect to be saved. 20,000 men could be rescued out of the 300,000 plus that were, were stranded around um, the beaches of Dunkirk. And, and the German high commanders, they surrounded the British and, and the French allies. And as they closed in on them with their tanks, this is what they said. They said, the British army is encircled and our troops are proceeding to its annihilation. The expectation is that 300,000 British and French soldiers were about to be annihilated. And then Winston Churchill went to see King George VI and told him the news. And what the King George VI said to Churchill on that day changed history. This is what he said. He said, we must pray. This next Sunday, I am calling for a national day of prayer. And so on May the 24th, King George VI, he addressed the nation. And this is what he said. He said, let us with one heart and soul humbly but confidently commit our cause to God and ask his aid that we may valiantly defend the right as it's given to us to see it. And and so that the churches were, were full, there was there was queues outside as millions of people in this country lined up to go to church to pray to ask God to rescue this nation. The expectation is 20,000 soldiers would be rescued out of the 300,000 that were there. The, 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 the German tanks were 10 miles from Dunkirk, about to annihilate hundreds of thousands of British and French soldiers. And then what happened next changed everything. Because a series of miracles happened that day time in Dunkirk. Miracle one, for, for some unknown reason that even now as historians analyse it, nobody knows why, but for some reason, as the British army was about to get annihilated by the Germans, Hitler called off the advance. He called off the advance and for three days did not attack, which gave the British enough time to build the defences to protect um, the people who were fleeing the beaches. The second miracle that happened was that this freak storm that came. And so the German um, aircraft, which were planning just to, to bomb the smithereens, all the hundreds of thousands of soldiers there, there was this kind of freak storm that, that grounded a lot of the German aircraft for days and days. And then, then not only was there a freak storm, but there was kind of a freak fog as well that came across the beaches and so that the, the German aircraft that could fly couldn't quite see a lot of the soldiers that were stood there stranded. And here's the miracle bit, that, that why there was a storm that grounded the German aircraft just a few hundred kilometres away at Dunkirk, the sea was perfectly calm. And it was said that if there was any sort of wind, that the evacuation wouldn't be able to take place. But they said the channel, the English channel, which is very choppy normally, was actually like a still bath. It was like a glass, glassy sea, they talk about it. And so all these little boats were able to come across and, and rescue. And the miracle of why Hitler didn't advance, the miracle of the weather, all these almost supernatural things seemed to happen which meant that not 20,000, but
but 338,000 people got rescued over the course of that week.